Are you one of those people who are just started or planned to collect succulents because they say that it was the easiest plants to grow? At ang gaganda naman talaga ng succulents, parang tayo. Hello friends, my name is Atisu from Growing Green. In this video, I will share to you 7 of my learnings or tips I discovered to help you keep your succulents alive and thriving. Number one tip is uh, you must place your succulent in the place na may air circulation. While there are a few succulent types that do well indoors, kagaya ng Huartea, aloe vera, ang majority of succulents ay gusto ang warm, arid climates and depend on a good circulation to breathe. Tip number two, start growing your succulent with the right soil. They need a fast draining soil mix or we can amend a DIY succulent potting mix. We can amend the traditional uh, potting soil with cores of pumice or yung ginagamit namin dito sa Baguio City, ang compost almost leaves. Tip number three, provide them some shade. In my experience, most succulents do not thrive if exposed with the hottest temperature and the fullest sun exposure. They also need sun protection, especially yung maliliit na variety and the varieties with the solid green pale or variegated one prone sila sa sunburn but if you plan to expose your succulents to the brightest sun possible op, or succulents that are color red gray blue or orange these are the succulents kapag naarawan at naiestress sa sun gumaganda sila Tip number four, don't forget to water them. Low water is not the same with no water. I always experience this because uh, I am afraid that my succulents will die for overwatering and marutrat sila, di ko sila dinidiligan talaga. Succulents like it when soil approaches dry before watering. In other words, it is okay if during dry times, kagaya ngayong summer, water them once a week, especially if yung pot nila is small. Every two weeks naman, if yung pot nila is large. Tip number Tip number five, include drainage in your pot. Remember that succulent roots hate nila ang excess water. That's why be sure their drainage in its pot. So the question is, how I use my beautiful pot or my pretty center pieces with no drainage? Maybe abangan nyo po yung separate na blog ko for this subject.
Tip number six, beware of long rain. While some of succulents like rainwater at mas gumaganda sila, if na uulanan, it is another case of long rain or consistent rain ang pinag-uusap. Some succulents can survive. That's why in the times of typhoon, we need to move them in the back. And tip number seven, give some fertilizer. Succulents do often grow in low nutrient environments, but still, fertilizer is essential to their care, so I gave them once yearly feed. seven tips that I shared to you were just my experience in my journey as a beginner plantita. And if you found it helpful and interesting, I am inviting you to subscribe, like, and share for this channel. You can also click the notification bell para ma-notify kayo sa susunod ko pang mga vlog. Thank you for watching. Until next time.